Up next on Lion TV, we have Mel Sangro with a feature on band student Jordan Bowman, Emily Tyler with all your weekly sports updates, and me, Ashley Coker, to tell you if Elsa's coming to visit us. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Welcome back, Cersei High. It's me, Jacob Showey. And me, Anna Calkins. Let's get right into these midweek announcements. Anyone interested in joining eSports should contact Mr. Renard in room 313. The games offered are Mario Kart 8, Smash Bros. Ultimate, Madden 22 for the PlayStation 4, League of Legends, and Rocket League. The first meeting for new members will be Wednesday, January 12th. Don't forget to buy your 2022 yearbook. You can order on Jocelyn's website or bring money to Miss Cook. Books are currently $50, but the price will go up later this month. In national news, federal health officials on Thursday urged nursing home workers to get their booster shots amid a spike in COVID-19 cases. Nursing homes are a testing ground for President Joe Biden's assertion that the United States is much better prepared to handle a surging virus than it was last winter. Although residents are a tiny proportion of the population, they represent a disproportionate share of Americans who have died in the COVID pandemic. Pandemics come to an end, but the coronavirus coming to an end still seems far off. As much as we'd like it to be over, the Omicron has delayed the conclusion of the virus. The world will have to learn to coexist with the virus that's not going away. The ultra-contagious Omicron variant is pushing cases to an all-time highs and cause, causing chaos as an exhausted world struggles again to stem the spread. As the new year came to a close, the film industry saw an overall ticket revenue double that of 2020 from a new movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. The movie topped all other films for three weeks straight. No Way Home grossed an estimated $52.7 million over its opening weekend to bring its three-week total to $609.9 million. That ranks 10th in all time in North America. Worldwide, it made $1.37 billion, a total that puts it above Black Panther and making it the 12th highest grossing film globally. The police chief in Little Rock has been placed on paid leave after shooting a woman who allegedly shot another woman on New Year's Eve. Police Chief Keep Humphrey is on leave following the, out, the shooting outside a convenience store and Arkansas State Police are investigating the incident. There has been news of a logo change for the Searcy Lions and we have Josh Prather to tell us more. The Cersei District is thinking of a new logo for the district and a lot of people have positive views on this, but they have not made a decision. The logo idea is, I think the whole idea of a logo, you know, maybe making a universal logo is neat. Um, the ideas or the options right now, I think, are still developing. Um, they're very kind of plain or basic at this point and um, it just doesn't say Cersei public schools yet and so I'm waiting to see one that is just really kind of um, is a picture of Cersei. In the current day of age it is important to market even schools have to do it. The idea of making Cersei public schools is one uniform look when everybody sees this one lion that you think of Cersei because you know a lot of different schools have similar mascots similar colors and so you it, it is a a, a way to really distinguish yourself away from everyone. Of course, everyone has their own idea of what it should look like. I want to be modern just because the time we're in, uh, I like the traditional lion, but you know, having some of the red and black mixed in with the traditional lion, you know, I don't want it to, I want it to be detailed, uh, not just like one color. Um, and so, and again, it can't be look like a cub lion. It's got to look like a, a lion with a mane with, with you know, lots of um, background um, color to it. That's my vision, is to see something with detail that really just pops and says, this is Cersei. Regardless of how the rebranding pans out, it will be very exciting to follow all future updates. Back to you at the news desk. Thanks so much, Josh. I wonder what everyone else will think of this change. 
I'm not sure, Jacob, but speaking of change, the weather has been all over the place the past few weeks. It sure has. Let's send it over to Ashley Coker to see what the weather will be like this week. Good morning, Sushi High School. I'm Ashley Coker here to bring you your weather updates. So today it's going to have a high of 47 with a rain at 6% chance. The winds are headed north-northeast at 8 miles per hour. The humidity is at 64% and your sun rose at 7.16 a.m. On to tonight. So tonight you have a snowflake with a low of 26. The rain is at 47-49%. The winds are headed northeast at 10 miles per hour. The humidity is at 83% and your sun will set at 5.09 p.m. onto the almanac. So the last seven days have been a high of 49, a low of 26. The monthly average precipitation has been 2.08 inches and the month to date was a 1.24 inches onto the five cast. Thursday, you're gonna have a high of 31 and a low of 16. Friday, you're gonna have a 1% chance of rain with a 22 as your low. Saturday is going to be double 46s with a 50% chance of rain. Sunday it's going to be a high of 57 and a low of 25. And Monday it's going to be a high of 42 and a low of 25 with a 6% chance of rain. Well, looks like no snow this week, but maybe next week. See you later, Cersei High. Ooh, Hase Frio. I wonder if the weather is going to change drastically again this month. I'm not sure, Jacob, but what I am sure of is that I'm very hungry. What's for lunch, home dog? Today for lunch, we'll be having breaded chicken sandwich, tater tots, whole grain breadsticks, green beans, chicken spaghetti, chocolate bear grams, and apple. Sounds great, and thank the lunch ladies today and give them a compliment while you're at it. Sure will. Next up, we have Mel Sangro with our story about the band student named Jordan Bowman and what it's like to be in the band. Tell us more, Mel. We have all heard about demand and the state contest. But today, thanks to Jordan Bowman, we are going to know what it feels like to be part of it and the experiences someone might have in it. I played the bass drum and uh, in sixth grade I tried out for percussion and I got to make, make it. And so we started learning all the different instruments and everything. And this year in high school, I was put on the bass drum and it's a lot of fun. But band is not only about what instruments he likes playing. He has also got to adapt to what the band plays and the director's instructions. My favorite instrument is the tenors because you have the four drums and then you have the spock in the middle. It's just a lot of fun. We play some like classic rock type stuff and then we play uh, just like stuff you'd hear on the radio for football games. And then the band directors usually choose the music for concerts, but I don't really know what genre that is. Everyone has been inspired in some way to play music, and Jordan is not going to be this. I joined the band because when I was in, in fourth grade, I went to the fair parade with my grandma, and I was watching the Harding Band, and I just saw them and playing the tenor, so I was like, one day I want to go play, play in the band, and so I just joined the band in sixth grade. The people make it special because without the people you don't have a band. My plan is to stay in the band. It's still a lot of fun to me and there's always new things and new people. High school band is only the first step though and Jordan seems like he might take the next one. College band. I really haven't made my mind up for college band yet but I think there's still a pretty good chance that I will be. My career right now is to be a police officer and I don't think music really lines up with that but it could still always change into something to where music could affect my career. Those were some interesting thoughts and experiences. Thanks again to Jordan Boma for agreeing to have this interview and back to the news desk. Wow, it is so interesting learning more about some of the ins and outs of our band program. It really is. Last but not least, we have Emily Tyler ready to talk about our sports updates. Let's hear it. What's poppin' Cersei High? I'm Emily Tyler, here with all your local, state, and national sports news. The boys and girls basketball team will be facing Paragold this Friday. You can come down and see the teams play here at the high school or check out the live stream on the Lion TV YouTube channel. Our wrestling team will be heading to the Conway Tournament. The girls will wrestle Friday and the boys will wrestle on Saturday. We will be sure to give you the updates as soon as we can, but until then, be sure to cheer on and support our Lions. 
Now in national news, Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver Antonio Brown throws his equipment into the stands while his team is on offense during the third quarter of an NFL football game against the New York Jets this past Sunday. Brown appeared to be getting into a sideline disagreement with Mike Evans. Brown was then seen taking off his gear and throwing some of his belongings into the stands. He then cut across the end zone and gave fans the peace sign before he ran back to the tunnel and eventually out of MetLife Stadium. He, was, he would later write on Instagram, thanks for the opportunity. Last Sunday, the Green Bay Packers beat the Minnesota Vikings 37-10. The Packers are the lone NFL team with an unbeaten home record and have a chance to reach the Super Bowl without even leaving Lambeau Field. NCAA basketball is kicking off and fans are getting excited with March Madness getting closer. Sunday, Ohio State beat Nebraska 87-79. Monday, Wisconsin beat Purdue 74-69. That's all the sports updates I have for y'all today. Back to Jacob and Anna at the news desk. Awesome. Well, Cersei, that wraps up today's episode of Lion TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram, Cersei Lion TV, and Facebook, Cersei High Lion TV. I hope to see you all Friday, and I'm Anna Calkins. And I'm Jacob Showey. Have a fantastic rest of your day, Cersei.